Hi everybody, wanted to talk about uh, testing minimal trading on your new bot. Uh, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. Tonight is April 22nd. Okay, I've been testing the minimal trading with uh, Ethereum. Trying to set the amount to a minimum. If you've not seen my elite group, uh, elite videos, there's two videos I put up. One called Having Fun in Binance API and the other one's More Fun in Binance API Trading. Those two videos, one is 48 minutes, the other one is 28 minutes with uh, a bunch of links uh, showing you how I got to this point. But the the... the the main point is is to trade in when you when you're developing new bots to minimize your trading amount, especially on Binance. And uh, when you factor in the minimum bot or the minimum amount, if you know anything about the trading rules for Binance, uh, this is pretty big. It's very confusing to do this, but I go through. The, all of this in the videos, but essentially when you look at um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is probably the two most popular uh, items or currencies or coins you'll trade in, uh, this is the minimum you need to have no matter what you're trading, but in Bitcoin it has to be uh, about this amount. So that translates to uh, when you convert it to let's say US dollar, that's going to be about 540 okay so when you look at ethereum about 90 percent of my profitable trades that have been uh looked at are about uh in ethereum so when you look at ethereum this is the minimum you need at 0 0.01 which translates to in us dollars a little less so the lower you are the better now the other thing is you have to factor in the commission fee which is 0.1 percent of that so when you look at this this is typical test trades that i've been working with uh for minimum trade so in here we have numerous combos um that i'm testing to see what those amounts are for both uh the fee commission fee from Binance, which is in uh, Binance coin, and on top of the amount uh, when I buy whatever in Ethereum, how much that costs. So as an example here, we have our buy and sell, and I cover this in the um, in the videos I mentioned in the uh, elite stuff. So if you go here and you just uh, convert this amount in Ethereum, that translates to about 257. So that's what you'll get at the lowest amount you'll get in Ethereum for the currency or coin you want to buy, in this case, Dash. On top of that, one thing you need to be aware of is how much BNB will it cost you in the fee. It usually is fairly small, um, but for my experimentation, this is as low as you can go about around 250 um in US dollars in from the Ethereum to a US dollar. So this is the fee we're gonna look at right now. So if I go over to my converter um, that I found here. So we are converting uh, BNB. Uh, BNB, BNB, Binance coin. Binance coin. Okay, so this is the amount, and we're converting into US dollars. So what we're looking at for the fee is uh, one Binance coin is 290. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, yeah, here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so it's, let's say, this amount. Not even a penny but um, as I said from the testing with the live uh, API 
the lowest I could get was roughly about 250, between 240 to 260 for each of these. So we're involving BNB, EOS, Litecoin, XMR, Ethereum Classic, Dash. And uh, so they're pretty consistent right throughout the uh, test here that I've been doing all day. So knowing that, I can now test uh, the live bot with these new additions. Now, one other thing um, that's very important is when you look at the track, uh, the trading history or order history of Binance, you're not going to get a typical, here's my position, and this, once we buy and sell and complete that, uh, that you'll get a, p a profit and loss for that call up position. It doesn't work that way. What you're doing is essentially an exchange. You're buying X in Ethereum, X in Bitcoin. So it does not track them and does not view them as positions. And that's a real mind F, I guess you could call it. And um, basically what you need to do is, let's say you transfer a thousand Bitcoin over into your Binance account. Um, and then you want to trade in Ethereum. What will happen is, uh, because you have no Ethereum in your Binance account, you will get uh, an, an exception saying, sorry, you don't have enough, uh, and, the, and the error or exception is very generic, which is just minimal notional, meaning you don't have enough Ethereum to buy whatever, because all of, all of it, all after the transfer and the funding, of the uh, Binance account is going to be a hundred percent in in um, Bitcoin. So you, in order to trade in Ethereum, you need to transfer or buy Ethereum from your Binance. Oh, sorry, you have to buy Ethereum from your Bitcoin account or Bitcoin allocation. I guess is a better way to put it. Once you do that, you draw off of that amount in Ethereum since you buy the Ethereum from your Bitcoin. So do keep that in mind. Um, and when you do transfers, as, as you can see here, you will um, uh, buy, let's say, XMR and Ethereum, buy or sell, um, which is the price. And then you'll have your fill, if it gets filled or not. And then from there, you'll get the commission fee and then the result of the total uh, in Ethereum uh, once you factor in the commission. So do keep that in mind. Um, I will be holding a webinar tomorrow at 12 noon, Tuesday on this Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I've already put it up on my Facebook. Uh, this is very important. That's why I put it in the uh, Binance. Because if you don't understand this, you'll have a great, hard, a very difficult time to understand this. But I try my best to uh, show people this. Because I couldn't find it. I couldn't find any um, information on this from an API standpoint or from a uh, even a bot software point of view commercial or not uh, didn't find any tutorials on this so I've kind of put it all together in uh, over uh, well will be three videos including the webinar itself so really important that you understand this and uh, hopefully I'll see you online tomorrow let's go over to the Facebook page at Quant Labs Net under events, you'll find it. We shall talk to you there. Or let me just show it to you there. If you go to the website, quantlabs.net blog, just go over to uh, the uh, blog here. You should find the time right here. So just look up QA on. Uh, so yeah, Q&A on Binance API trading webinar. So here's all the details there. So just do a search on that. Hopefully this will help you out and we shall uh, talk to you later. Bye.